And hello for those of you watching live for the final time today and welcome to episode 134 of, of Love at First Scent with me Persilaise coming to you with Tongue Twisters live from YouTube. If you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel please consider doing so, please consider supporting my work on Coffee. you will find a link to that below. Uh, Ask questions, leave comments, um, join in the discussion whether you are watching live or you're watching the recording. First comment goes to Angela, says hi there again, and Yura says, okay, this should be good. I've heard it's a more boozy black orchid, a scent for a metrosexual pirate. Goodness me, there's a description, and Pisebi says hello. Okay, so what are we smelling now in this episode? We are going to be smelling the new Parfum version, the extra version supposedly, of um, Tom Ford's Black Orchid. At, at this point, it's interesting to say actually that there are, there seem to be more extras out there, and of course, anybody could call anything that they want an extra. There isn't a rule out there, a sort of trade descriptions rule, that says that you can only call something a parfum or an extra if it has, you know, at least, I don't know, 18% of the concentrate in it or 20% of the concentrate in it or whatever. Um, and th there must be some uh, clever marketing going on because extras, the ones that are coming uh, from a lot of brands, are not anywhere near as expensive as extras used to be. And if you look at a sort of a Garlin extra in the UK, you have to part company with something in the region of £200, I think, to get a 15ml bottle of extra. But you can get a very, very large bottle of, uh, you know, Terre d'Hermès Parfum or Voyage d'Hermès Parfum for nothing in the region of £200. Uh, so it, it, it's interesting. And this, this this definition of what an extra is and what a parfum is, uh, I think, it, it is being a little bit stretched potentially by, um, by some brands. Now, comments have been coming in and we will smell this in a sec. Uh, can we have the price on this, says Gavin. I think I may have it in the press material, so yes, you should be able to have the price towards the end. Um, has many copies, but I do really like Black Orchid, says Angela. Stewa, how do you feel about the EDP? Mm, good question, because I'm. this is this is going to be a tough sell for me, because um, I'm not the world's biggest fan of Black Orchid. It, it's a very distinctive piece of work, and it works extremely well on some people, but oh, I don't know. Uh, would be interested to know if that truffle note is more pronounced here. How did you get all those Tom Ford bottles on the scene so quickly, says Angeline. <laughs> Persilase works fast. <laughs> Druba says, heck yes, I've loved the EDP, but I've heard this is as beautiful. Glad I've put back watching reviews to hear your take. So, so you know, maybe I'm at a bit of a disadvantage here because if you're all fans, well, at least I'll be able to tell you if it smells like the original. Hugh George says, I got some similarity from Black Orchid Parfum to Tom Ford for men extreme, actually. And as Gavin says, the definition of an extra has been diluted. Uh, Lulwa says, no minimum of concentrate required. As far as I know, no, it, 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 it is not a legal thing. You know, whether you call a perfume an eau de cologne or a, an eau de toilette or eau de parfum, you can, I think, kind of do what you want. Um, uh, Lannan says, it doesn't smell as good as the original when it first released, in my opinion. Uh, Olfactive Story says, hello, hi, and Love Noir and uh, Mandarino di Amalfi says, John MD. Is that an Arabic coffee or teapot behind those bottles, says Ashfaq? Yes, that's just... That's just my little ornament here, which you can probably see a little bit better now. Shall we move the candle out of the way, seeing as you mentioned it? Let's do this, because I miss having Turkish coffee at my favourite place in London. Medium sweet, in case anybody's wondering. Right, so, Tom Ford, Black Orchid, Parfum, and of course, I don't know who the perfumer is, because Tom Ford doesn't want us to know who the perfumer is. But at some stage, the news will emerge online. Now, I think I've seen images of this, and this is this is the gold bottle, isn't it? Which made me wonder if they're kind of reusing some of their Sahara Noir bottles. <laughs> I don't know. But, you know, for, for, for trashy bling, for kind of endearing, attractive, trashy bling, nobody beats Tom Ford. Um, I have to say I'm dying to try this one. I haven't always cared for the private blends, but I love every Black Orchid. Okay, well, Great. Um, what is it about the original Black Orchid? To me, it's just, it's just kind of angry. 
Uh, oh, Ashfaq says, I had Qawa almost every day for two weeks in Saudi Arabia in December. I miss it. Yeah, so do I. You can make it yourself as well, but it's not the same. Oh, and Benjamin says, I've heard this smells like tribute. Hmm. <laughs> And again, this won't mean anything who's just watching the one <laughs> video. Um, I find the original Black Orchid a little bit too thin and a little bit too... Oh, look, he's still there. A little bit um, just aggressive, angry, uh, like, like it just wants to push everybody aside and be just a little bit too strident, I think. And I, d I don't know, I don't know, the, the, the floral note is quite hissy in a way that I've never quite been able to warm to. The patchouli chocolatiness is also a little bit hissy in a way that I've never been able to warm to. I think you get the idea, but let us find out what this parfum version of Black Orchid is like. And if it's, if it's like the original, um, but, you know, just with a twist, then I guess you will all be pleased. Um, a comment has come from Denby. I'm just going to wait for it to come up on the tablet because I can't see there. It says, yeah, I worked with a girl who wore this at the office and it does have incredible throw and a thick, enduring sillage. Is it obnoxious, says Lana? Yeah, maybe. Maybe I found it obnoxious. <gasps> What's Persolet's going to say? Okay, two things. Recognisably Black Orchid. Second thing, I like it so far. Which maybe means that all you lot out there who like Black Orchid <laughs> original won't like it. Um, it's like... It's like that obnoxious office person has just calmed down and has found love and doesn't need to be just sniping and biting at everybody constantly and is just settling in and accepting her own beautifulness and loveliness and black orchidness. It's the chocolatey note here that is way more convincing. It, it feels like the patchouli is of, a, is of a richer, much, much, much richer, much warmer quality. And yet that, that hissy, violety, violet, leafy, weirdly nail varnishy, plasticky note is still there. But the internet, in the, the internet, the interplay between... Oh, the things that love can do in calming the hiss, says he. <laughs> says the, uh, that's like that, that, that classic um, Monroe movie, isn't it? The, 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 the seven year hiss. Um, is it still a chocolate cucumber shoved through your letterbox? I mind your own business. Thank you. For us. Um, well, it it <laughs> it is still a chocolate cucumber in a way, but it's now it's now asking if it may enter your letterbox. <laughs> a prominent truffle note. Um, maybe. But this is this is reminding me of something. It actually is reminding me. Who said that it reminds them of a of a of a masculine? Um, because because somehow with that kind of slightly saline quality of the cucumbery opening, it it's reminding me of some masculines of the nineties. And I think I think this I think this could be worn by a man much more easily than the original. Let's let's spray the original actually while we're at it. By the way, I realise that, I realise I've been, for those of you who have been watching live, it's it's almost 20 past five here. I've been doing this for an hour and 20 minutes. Where has the time gone? I'm clearly, I'm just having a great time, but but a more polite postman then, says Angela. Yes, but sorry for those of you who thought that we'd be done in an hour. This is original EDP, okay, and, and a fairly, um, fairly well-aged bottle now. Chocolate cucumber asking for permission, <laughs> says Fragrance Test You. Possibly the best fragrance description I've ever heard. Do you think they should put that on the advertising campaign? <laughs> Tom Ford, Black Orchid, Parfum, the chocolate cucumber that always asks for permission. <laughs> yeah, it's... The original, even though it doesn't seem quite so hissy now, I think is is just more shrill, whereas... Post me too, says <laughs> a post me too. Sorry, I get it now. A post me too chocolate cucumber. Maybe not. Um, 
No, this is interesting. There's, it's got a nutty facet to it. Right, don't get them mixed up. So this is this is the parfum. A nutty facet to it. Tom Ford will pop up soon, you think? <laughs> that would be amazing. It's like, well, actually, I'm now going to reveal the perfumer live on Persolais. Okay, uh, I, haven't, I haven't got much on this one. In fact, minimal press blurb. But let us share with you what we do have. So, in 2006, 14 years ago, gosh, Tom Ford introduced uh, Black Orchid, his debut signature fragrance and the first entry in the Tom Ford Beauty Collection. To this day, the best-selling Tom Ford Black Orchid continues to evoke the timeless luxury and worldly glamour of an iconic scent. And it, it has become iconic of the brand, you know, it is a real emblem of the brand, it has to be said. The inspiration for Black Orchid comes from Tom Ford's attraction to the unattainable and in particular his fascination with finding the elusive black orchid. To me it's the perfect flower, he says, luxurious, elegant, pure and sophisticated. So uh, they've got two blurbs here about the original and the parfum. So the original black orchid eau de parfum is available in 10 mils, 50 mils and 100 in the signature black bottle with golden plaque. Uh, the top notes open with a sensuous blend of black truffle. I'm going to skip this because we want to know the parfum. Introducing the new Tom Ford Black Orchid Parfum, which celebrates the impact of the seductive breakthrough scent with an intensified expression and a glamorous all-gold coloured bottle. Yes, in this new olfactive journey, narcotic ylang ylang is amplified, while rich rum absolute and black plum become even more pronounced. So the boozy patchouli chocolatiness, yeah, that's, I get that. Augmenting the sensuality and addiction of the black orchid personality. The bottle, all gold coloured from, pla from plaque to cap, expresses the luxurious nature of this. So is that all they're going to tell us about the smell? Available in all gold, 50, do you think they want us to know it's all gold? 50 and 100 mil flacon. The new Tom Ford Black Orchid Parfum is also debuting in a luxury 10 mil Travel spray a limited edition purse size spritz elegantly sheathed in a gold tone. Right, so somebody asked about the price. Let me very, very, very quickly while I've got you here just see if I could find out. Hopefully, that came through in another message. Um, and do I have the price? Yes, I do. It is for 50 mils. Are you ready for this? It's 98 pounds. But this, is go this goes back to what I was saying at the beginning of the episode. 50 mils of a Garlin extrait, they would charge you way more than £98. So it's interesting, this extrait parfum word that is being used. Maybe people have sort of cottoned on to the fact that, that you can use it. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't, want, you know I, don't, I don't want to cast aspersions, but who knows? Who knows what's going on? Um... Back to comments. Tomash says, the bottle of this Tom Ford shines as if it was made of gold. Chocolate cucumber, too hard for me to imagine. It's a golden chocolate cucumber. Um, Cole says, he'll be an angry cucumber if, if he does, if Tom Ford pops up. Keith says, I really like this one. We all know Tom Ford could sell a cucumber for hundreds if he wanted to. Says, oh, why are we on the cucumber thing, people? Eric says, I was just thinking how Tom Ford said Black Orchid was a future classic. I found that pretty obnoxious, but he wasn't wrong. Absolutely, he wasn't wrong. Uh, Yura says, there may be a private blend line of cucumbers, cucumber oud, tobacco cucumber. Well, there's got to be a chocolate cucumber, hasn't it? Um, must try this one, says Angela, though hate the bottle. Yeah, but it's a bottle that you kind of love because you hate it, isn't it? I mean, it it's kind of great, isn't it? In the, I don't know. Um, Gavin says, one always wants one's chocolate cucumber elegantly sheathed. This correspondence is now closed. Good afternoon from Washington, says DCJIMR1. I'm enjoying the Black Orchid Parfum. I find it smoother than the EDP. Absolutely decent price, says Yura. It actually sounds good, says Pisebi. Can't wait to try it. It was like Tom Ford was in the room, says the... <laughs> I'm a silver gal myself, says Angela. Fair enough. Does it have any choya nach to make it more earthy? You'll have to tell me what that is. Um, a fingerprint magnet, says Keith. True. Uh... And Gavin says, I would do Tom Ford if I was on Drag Race. Enough, people. Be good. Hello from Hong Kong, says Isaac. I definitely love the Black Orchid line. I've got the EDT and Velvet Orchid. I think this is a good point at which to stop. So, blotter, uh, bl I was going to say blotter orchid. Blotter update coming a few hours after the bro broadcast. The bottle is totally kitsch, says Cole. I kind of like it, especially like it's a bit old school of a scent. Uh... 
Okay, thanks, Ashwar. I'd, I'm, I'm not sure. Right, for those of you who stayed tuned, uh, stayed, stayed tuned for all of the live episodes today, thank you very much. For those of you watching the recording, thank you very much. Please stay tuned to social media for details of when the next episodes will coming. I'm still doing my best to get a few exciting interviews lined up for the final week of October. And also, like I said in one video today, I can't remember which one, I'm planning a, spe a few special um, extra videos. So stay tuned for those because those should be really, really good. Um, but until then, please do keep sending me ideas for other videos you'd like me to do, best ofs, brands you'd like me to focus on, perfumers you'd like me to focus on. And um, be good, look after yourselves, stay safe, and I will see you very soon. Bye.